What makes the Sony 1000XM4 one of the best headphones right now are features that you don't often think about, but you use them all the time. So it's not just the sound quality or the active noise cancellation or the battery capacity, which quite honestly, all the other competing headphones like the Bose 700 and the AirPods Max do a pretty good job at. It's subtle things. Let me talk about those. Practically speaking, there are a lot of times when you're on your headphones with your noise cancellation on and someone just comes over to talk to you or you want to be able to hear what's happening around you. The 1000XM4s, they allow you to activate ambient mode or the transparency mode in four different ways. So depending upon how you find it best, you can activate it. One method is that you take the left ear cup off your ear, the music will pause, and then once you're done talking, just put it back on your left ear and the music will resume playback. Method two, just put your earphones down around your neck and then once you're done, just put it back up and the music will resume from where it left. The third method, which I think is the most elegant, is you just place your palm on the right ear cup, the music lowers in volume, the ambient mode turns on, you have your conversation and once you're done, just release your palm and then the music volume or the video playback will go back to its normal volume. The fourth one is where the headphones automatically detect every time you try to speak and it pauses playback and it will resume playback after 15 seconds or 30 seconds of silence, and that you can configure in the app. Now this setting is called Speak to Chat in the app, which you can turn on. Next, the 1000XM4s can connect to two devices simultaneously and switch between the two depending upon the need, smartly. And it could be any two devices, so one could be a MacBook and the other could be an Android phone. One could be a Windows laptop and the other one could be an iPhone. That's great, right? So I'm usually working on my laptop and there's some music in the background. Now let's say I get a phone call. I answer that and the headphones automatically switch to the phone call. And once I disconnect the call, the music on the laptop takes over and it continues from where it left off. The third thing I wanna talk about is battery life. You get 30 hours of nonstop playback in a single full charge with ANC turned on on the 1000XM4s. And just 10 minutes of charge gives you five hours of playback. Compare that to what you get on the AirPods Max or the Bose 700, you'd be surprised. Another thing, if you put these headphones down, if you're not using them, they will turn off automatically and they will not drain battery. Again, something that's really cool. Fourth, the fact that this folds makes it a lot more space efficient, less fragile and hence easy to carry. And the fact that it can fold and it comes with a hard case. Right here a lot easier to put in the bag than let's say the case that you get with the AirPods Max. It's really difficult to put that in a bag and not be worried about what happens to your headphones. And so it's really these little things and usability features that makes one product different from the other. Active noise cancellation and sound quality are important, but alone are not the experience of it. Especially today, when mobility, connectivity, movement are really important. And contexts can be so dynamic. I mean, you could be working, running, talking, doing house chores, and all of that in different locations. Uh, you know, your headphones are supposed to be inclusive, embrace all of these scenarios, and allow you to do these very easily. And I think that's where the Sony 1000XM4s outperforms even the Bose 700 and the AirPods Max. And so what I'm trying to say is that the Sony 1000XM4s are a very well-balanced headphones, you know, great sound quality, great noise cancellation, and ample usability functions. But again, it really depends on the scenario you are in. For example, if you have or live in the Apple ecosystem, you've got the iPad, the iPhone, the MacBook, the Apple AirPods Max may actually make more sense to you if you're ready to shell out the extra $200 to $50. If you are a Bose fan and you've always been with Bose, then there is an emotional connect with the brand. And then in that case, you may still want to go with Bose. I'm just trying to put it more objectively for you and telling you what I would do if I was in your situation. Anyway, I hope this was all very helpful to you. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.